Everybody talks about fracking, but fracking is a geophysical technique that shatters rock. Now that could be shale rock, which is shale gas, or it could be coal seams, which is coal bed methane. And although journalists call it all fracking, it's actually very different when you do it. Shale gas is shale. It's deep layers of what they call black shale. It's full of organic matter. And over years, that's been compressed down. Now, for years, we've been using conventional energy. That's where ancient organic matter has been cooked by the Earth's heat and the pressure. And it turns into oil and gas. And that gas can migrate and form a big reservoir underground. And you put a, a pipe in, and it, it just wants to come out. Shale gas is different. It's trapped in an impervious layer that it can't move. So you, you drill, drill down into it, you shatter the rock, and then it comes out. But all that takes a lot extra energy and chemicals. And so as we transition from conventional energy sources to unconventional energy sources, that's what's driving the additional pollution and the extra energy burden. And so if you take a conventional oil or gas well, that's equivalent to about 80 unconventional wells because the production per well is so much less. Mm -hmm.